Now, with Russia's war on Ukraine in its second year and China sounding increasingly belligerent about Taiwan, these are troubling times for geopolitics, and that in turn raises the threat to businesses from possible state-sponsored cyber attacks. Well, Arctic Wolf supports more than 3,000 customers around the world to manage their cyber risks via security operation platform delivered via the cloud. Its chief executive is Nick Schneider, and he joins me now. Nick, welcome to you. To what extent is Russia using cyber attacks as part of its overall war strategy? Yeah, so I think it's been an interesting year here. Um, we've seen both the Russian-Ukraine conflict lead to what was a little bit of a lull last year, now coming a, a pretty strong resurgence of cyber activity. And then, you know, combined with that is a looming threat here with China, where we expect to see some increased activity in spycraft. All that means is that um, you know both businesses uh, in Europe, in, in North America, in Australia, and in, in, in you know APAC are going to have to continue to uh, evolve their cybersecurity uh, you know posture, make sure that they have security operations stood up in a way that is uh, meaningful and evolving over time. And and I think uh, as we look forward, you know, over the next year, we're going to unfortunately see an increase in the activity uh, with regards to cyber threats, kind of wholesale. What sort of entities are the Russians going for? Are they are they specifically targeting uh, businesses and, and administrations which are supporting the Ukrainians, or is, is it less discriminate than that? Yeah, I think there's two uh, groups of organizations that you'll see uh, activity. Certainly, the larger, you know, more global organizations will see state-sponsored activity. You know, where they're going after infrastructure, they're going after IP, trade secrets. They're trying to. Uh, cripple, you know, businesses or large, uh, you know, uh, economic units within a certain region. But there's also a significant amount of smash and grab activity uh, with the smaller players uh, within those regions that are going after a, you know, mid-market account or a, or a small enterprise. And those are equally as damaging, in some ways more damaging to those businesses as it can take down an entire company. And Nick, what about the Chinese? What are you seeing from them right now? Yeah, so they've always been a, a looming threat. I, I think as you know, sanctions increase from from Western regions, uh, we're going to see that uh, their spycraft activity will will increase. And and unfortunately, I think what that means for folks is that they're going to start to see you know an increase uh, in threats from from China, which which might have been relatively less here in, in recent times. And certainly, I think that activity will be more focused on on state sponsored. Uh, activity than than we might see from Russia and Ukraine, where I, uh, I suspect we're going to see a little bit more of the smash and grab from that group. And uh, are Chinese entities attacking U.S. entities more? Is that the main target, or or do, or do they go after the Europeans as well? Uh, they'll go after both the U.S. and the Europeans uh, to make sure that they're understanding kind of those businesses. They're diversifying their uh, approach and their tax into a variety of different re regions and making sure that they understand uh, what's happening within those businesses and what's happening within the infrastructure uh, globally. Nick, before I let you go, your, your business was valued at $4.3 billion at its last funding round. What are the ultimate ambitions? Is, is an IPO uh, on the cards at some point? Yeah, I mean, we've been, uh, you know, building this business now for 10 plus years. We're in a really good position. Obviously, security operations is top of mind for folks, you know, globally. Uh, when the markets uh, are right, uh, it's certainly uh, an area that we'll explore. Um, but, you know, at this time, obviously, there's quite a bit of uncertainty. So we're going to continue to run the business as is. That uh, makes sense. Nick, thanks very much for joining me. It's such an unsociable hour, your time. Good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you.